So let's learn about the syntax of Lambda S, our mini record, right? What is the language that we're actually going to cover? Um, for that, I want us to firstly distinguish between concrete syntax and abstract syntax. And this I've already mentioned, but I want to make it, uh, I want to remember it. So the idea of the concrete syntax is really what is in the code, uh, like all the, the tokens, all, all the logical components of code like in, including uh, possibly the, the comments and the whatever keywords you have and all that stuff but what we would like to do when you're actually running code you don't need um you don't need like comments you don't need the white space information you don't need um you don't you know you don't need all the information about the actual text file that you want to run what you really want to know is what are the expressions that exist, what are the variables, and all that stuff. So we've learned about the abstract syntax in a previous lesson. Uh, and indeed, in homework two, that's what you're generating. From a concrete syntax, you're generating an abstract syntax, right? Um, so the distinction is already understood by you. But now what I want to show you is, you know, this is very verbose, um, just writing our colon number and the number three and our colon variable and some name of a symbol. That is very um, verbose and, and making examples and explaining the meaning of a program. And when I say the meaning is how do you evaluate it, um, becomes complicated to communicate, right? So we want to make things a bit simpler to communicate. And what we're going to do is we're going to introduce expressions with this notation. So this is very similar to what we've seen before. So here I'm saying this is an expression E. Um, well, I say that it's an expression because I'm saying that, but this is just E. What is E? E is either a V, an X, or parenthesis E1, E2, parenthesis, right? So what is this? This is saying that an expression is either a value, a variable, or a function call. Notice that function calls have explicitly only one argument. You cannot have zero, you cannot have more than one, you have to have exactly one. And in the future, in a future lesson, I'm going to show you that this is enough to represent record. You don't need more and you don't need fewer. With just one, you can represent all. Um, okay, so what is the value? Right now we are only supporting two kinds of values. First one is a number and the second one is a, a lambda, so a function declaration. Okay, so this is all our language. The only thing it has is that. So it has V and here V, it just represents numbers. So we have a number, we have variables, we have function calls, we have um, lambdas as well, right? That's everything we have. So this is much, much shorter than writing all of this, right? But they mean exactly, exactly the same thing. So for the sake of cleaner presentation, we're gonna focus on the mathematical notation. Okay, so this is just a description of everything that we, I've covered in text so that you have it written. Uh, and in our next video, we're going to talk about semantics. And semantics here is really just another way of saying how do you evaluate things. So that's the semantics of a program is uh, execution.